Okay, so we're back at the chicken tractor. I made very little progress on it. Haven't really any more shingles on the roof, but it's successfully been moved a couple times. Here is a spot next to the garden of what it would look like after maybe three or four days. Nesting box is still blocked off. Thinking that it might be time to uh, unblock that. But let me show you. I haven't put wheels on here yet because I've been doing this method. I don't know if you can see. There's a uh, there's a bar right there, and then I have two more of them like this that I put underneath the chicken coop. And using these handles over here, I lift it up and roll it a couple feet at a time, like Egyptian pyramid building style. It's been super hot, and I have this pan of water in the corner. I kind of keep locked in place with the door so that the girls don't kick it over. Uh, still curious about the gender of some of these. Hens. Um, many of the bar blocks. What can I do? Nothing. I'll keep trying. So I wanted to give a shout out to the Urban Chicken Podcast. Something I've incorporated into my chicken routine is, is listening to that and becoming more educated. It's nice because it's it's uh, that podcast is catered towards urban uh, backyard chickens, which is exactly what I am, and uh, it's really done really well. So I'll put a link in the video to that. I also have a question about feeding. I'm feeding my chickens about three cups of you know all flock, um, you know crumble or whatever that is. But everything else I'm feeding them is either from my garden or my yard for uh, table scraps. And do you think that's a good ratio? So, let me know.